Welcome back to PSC Tech Bytes. Today I want to talk with you about how to use PMP PowerShell within an Azure function using an application only access token. In fact, in Azure function you can easily use a PMP PowerShell as long as you use version 1 of the Azure functions because we still don't support .NET Core with PMP PowerShell mainly because we have a dependency on CISOM and CISOM, the client-side object model for SharePoint, does not support uh, .NET Core yet. So imagine that you have a solution in which you want to use an X509 certificate to connect with an app-only access token to SharePoint Online and do some stuff like, for example, doing an automated provisioning of content or just some maintenance tasks that you want to execute uh, through an Azure function. So let's see how to do that. Let me move to the environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. So let's start with the PowerShell IDE, where we can use the new PMP Azure certificate command let to create an X509 certificate that we will use to create an only access token to access SharePoint Online through Azure Active Directory as the uh, authentication and authorization infrastructure. First of all, you have to select uh, to choose a password for your certificate, and then using this command let, you will provide the common name for the certificate that will be created, a duration in years for your certificate, the certificate password, as well as what will be the output PFX file and the output share file for your certificate. Once you've done that, you can go to uh, Azure Active Directory, so portal.azure.com, and there you will have to create a new app registration. And for that app registration in the certificate and secret section, you will have to upload a certificate, the one that you just created. Actually, you will have to upload the .share file that you just uh, uh, created. And you will need to take uh, a note of the thumbprint of your certificate. Once you've done that, of course, you will have under the API permission sections to configure proper permissions for your solution. For example, here, from a SharePoint perspective, I have an application-only permission for site full control .all, which will give me plenty of uh, options to target SharePoint online environment. So once I've done that, I can have an Azure function like the one that I'm showing you right now, in which I'm using the version one of the Azure function engine, and I'm using PMP PowerShell to access the target environment. And in order to do that, I simply use the connect PMP online, which is a well-known command let in the field of PMP PowerShell. I provide the URL of a target site that I want to provision, which will be an input parameter for my Azure function for provisioning. I provide the client ID of my application registered in Azure Active Directory. I mean the value that I can get from here in the overview. This is the application and client ID which I can copy. And I will provide the thumbprint of the certificate that I want to use together with the target tenant name, which has to be something like tenant.onmicrosoft.com. So where can I get the thumbprint, the client ID, and all of the information? Well, they are variables that I initialize here using the environment settings of my Azure function, which are defined under the function app. If I go in platform features and then in configuration, here we can see that I have configured some environmental variables, including the client ID, the tenant, and the template of my certificate. Moreover, I also have a website underscore load underscore certificate attribute, which I uh, can use to say that I want to let the uh, application to access any certificate in my current settings, in my current function app. Of course, here, instead of an asterisk, which means every certificate, I can also specify the uh, thumbprint of the certificate that I want to have access to. But where is the certificate stored? Well, if I go back to my uh, Azure Function app and I open the SSL section, here I can see that under private key certificates.pfx, I can upload a certificate from my file system, and I will actually upload the PFX file that I created with the new PMP Azure certificate command let. By doing that, and by providing the password for my private certificate, I will be able to have my certificate available in the Azure function app. And as such, when I will declare in my PowerShell statement, connect PMP online, to get the certificate with a specific thumbprint, 
the uh, PMP uh, PowerShell commandlet will automatically rely on the certificate store of the Azure Function app to get the actual certificate out of the certificate store and will use it to create an access token to connect to the target environment. Of course, the Azure function can do whatever you like. In my scenario, it's an Azure function that does the provisioning uh, of a site, but you can do whatever you want. Once you are connected to SharePoint Online with an app-only uh, X519 based certificate uh, uh, access token, you are ready to use it uh, and to do whatever you need to do with your target environment. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.